Hello and welcome to RTC TV. I'm your host, Scott Sager. Today on the show, we've got a very special presentation over at Tippecanoe Valley High School, where one of their students was just awarded the Lilly Scholarship from the Kosciuszko Community Foundation. Let's take a look. We'd like to share a kind of a special moment with you. So thank you so much. Appreciate your time and your patience and cooperation. And I would like to introduce Mrs. Susie Light from the Kosciuszko County Community Foundation. And she has an announcement that she would like to make. And I'm going to hand the mic over to her. Good afternoon, Vikings. It's nice to see you all here today. Hello. We're here for a very special announcement, so I would like to ask Shay Merling to please come forward. <laughs> Shay's mom and dad, Eric and Angie, you want to join us? Don't tell them that we got them here on false pretenses. We told the family that Shay was going to be receiving a Keys grant. And instead, Shay, you are the 2016 recipient of the Lilly Scholarship. for four years will be paid through the Lilly Scholarship. And so I've got some, a script to read for you. Shay's a senior at Tippie Valley High School. We knew that, right? His parents, Eric and Angie Burley, and at the time of his application, Shay was ranked third in his graduating class. His school activities include peer facilitator, in which he tutors and mentors middle and high school students. Shay's been a member of Student Council, National Honor Society, track and field, cross country, junior varsity football. His community activities have included Kosciuszko Youth Leadership Academy, KYLA, which he is a junior, Kosciuszko Endowment Services, which you have done since you were in eighth grade, all the way to senior year, student ambassador, and his church's youth group. Morley's volunteer work included three mission trips and as a camp counselor for a camp with children, for children with disabilities. His volunteer time totaled more than 400 hours. Morley's been employed as an unpaid intern in the Information Technology Department for Tippy Valley as a dog kennel worker, a tree planting and removal service worker, and as a restaurant dishwasher. <laughs> Murley's references describe him as hardworking, caring, exceptional, compassionate, mature, and honorable. He plans to attend Rose Holman. Yay! <laughs> Rose Holman Institute of Technology to study electrical engineering. And recently, Shay heard that, what did they call electrical engineers at Rose Holman? Uh, Sparkies. <laughs> He's got a new nickname. <laughs> so, Shay, congratulations. I do want to tell you a bit about the process, and I think it's going to be interesting for you juniors and sophomores who might be striving for a scholarship of this magnitude, four-year tuition, full tuition. So this is a blind process. The people that review the applications don't know the names of the students. They know their accomplishments. 
while academics are uh, something that the Apple, the uh, review committee looks at, community service weighs in a lot too. So you heard about Shay's volunteer work. That's important in life, and the community uh, foundation volunteers that review the scholarship want to reflect that, and this award helps do that. So again, congratulations, Shay. Thank you all for taking time out of your school day to be here and help celebrate this wonderful event. Hello and welcome to RTC TV 4. I'm Scott Sager. Today we have a very special announcement over here at Tippecanoe Valley High School. I'm joined by the director of the Community Foundation over in Kosciuszko County. Your name, dear? Susie Light. Susie, tell the folks there. You got to look at them. So Susie Light. Susie, one of the great things that we do every year with the Community Foundations from the Lilly grants that we've been given is? We award scholarships. Big scholarships. Big scholarships. Talk to us about the uh, famous Lilly Scholarship. This is the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship. In Kosciuszko County, we're able to award two of them. The scholarship pays for four years of tuition, book stipend, and academic fees at any Indiana college. Okay, so it has to be in Indiana. Covers everything but room and board, basically. That's correct. Excellent. So that, that adds up to a lot of money quite frankly, hundreds of thousands of dollars in today's economy, correct? Especially if you pick an expensive school. Yes. Now, we have our uh, recipient here, and his name is? Shay Murley. Shay Murley. Shay uh, had to compete with a number of students. How many did you have in your original application? Over 49. Over 49 of the elite, the best students in the area, also includes uh, the Warsaw Community Schools, correct? And Wawasee schools. And Wawasee schools. One scholarship or a scholarship for each school? We have two scholarships to award throughout Kosciuszko County. So even residents of Kosciuszko County who attended perhaps um, Manchester High right. School would be eligible for our scholarship. Excellent, excellent. So we have our winner here. Shay, I know it was a surprise. I knew about it last week. So uh, I started to invest in you because I knew that it was going to be a good investment. I'm just kidding. I really didn't invest in you. But uh, mom and dad were here. They were surprised. You were surprised. How nervous were you through the process? Um, through the application process, I wasn't too nervous. But as far as coming down here, I had a good idea that it was something good, so I wasn't too worried. Excellent. Excellent. So we've got the whole family here. We've got dad. Yes, I'm Eric. Eric. Angie. Angie. Kayla Murley. Now, you've got some, you're, you're younger than your brother, so you've got some big shoes to fill, don't you? Excellent. So, uh, Shay, where are you going to school? Uh, Rose Holman. And have you been accepted already? Yeah. Excellent. And what do you want to study? Electrical engineering. Electrical engineering, a great school in the state of Indiana for that. It takes a village. We've been hearing that for decades. Quite frankly, we've been hearing that for centuries. And uh, something like the Community Foundation, Lilly, all coming together, helping out uh, families all over the state of Indiana. Uh, I know it's a great time for you guys every year. I can't thank you enough for all you do with your community foundation. And for you guys, congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you. Exciting, nervous. Mom said she didn't like surprises. This one's okay. <laughs> okay, good with this surprise. Well, thank you all. Congratulations again. Best of luck to you and all that you do. We want to see good things out of you, okay? Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thank you.